Actually, this is a labor of love. I, uh, yeah, I do do rheumatology. I see arthritis patients every day, all day. That's what we do. We see 30 a day. There's a lot of arthritis out there. There's not enough rheumatologists. Um, but I came to the Arthritis Foundation, I think in the late 90s, after attending a fundraiser. And uh, the reason I uh, then decided to get involved with the Arthritis Foundation is because of programs. Because what we do all day, and I said in a little bit in the lecture earlier, is that uh, you know a patient can go to the doctor once every three or four months gets a visit, gets a medication adjustment, but then they have to go home and live and work and live their life. And so what we try to do is get um, uh, them involved in things that will help them support. And as I said on the, the uh, video, education and access <coughs> are key elements in it. And the Arthritis Foundation, the Purdue Cooperative Extensions, are areas that people can go to that are in their community that they can get help. So I didn't want to wise here. Jenny Condor was in the, she's with the Arthritis Foundation. You should stand up, Jenny. She's the star of the uh, DVD. Yeah. <laughs> and I would like to thank Bill because Bill, everybody in the room knows Bill. He's been a driving force since we used to go down to the state house or to the Department of Health and try to push arthritis and agribility. And that was what, 10 years ago? Probably was, yeah. So we've been, we've been messing with this for a long time. And I think, you know, uh, it, it, it's a hard thing because arthritis isn't as sexy sometimes as heart disease and cancer and, you know, juvenile uh, things. But it's important because it is the number one, and actually, depending on how you look at it, and the number four cause of disability in the country. And this group is close to my heart because when I was growing up, we had a family farm in Corey in Indiana, and uh, one of my grandparents and the cousins all had to go down and do their two weeks tour, you know, to help with the farm. And so I've bailed lots of hay and I've done lots of tobacco and all kinds of things down there. So, um, but what I wanted to do mostly <coughs> is to talk about programs that help arthritis through the Arthritis Foundation through Purdue. I was uh, I came here and was in engineering long ago. My father and my uncles all graduated from Purdue. My one uncle worked his entire career, 40 years as an extension agent, first in Scott County and then in Bluffton. Um, so he and Bill knew each other. And so I think these kind of things are important um, to the citizens of uh, the great state of Indiana and throughout the Midwest and those of us and those people who are associated with farming you know, the backbone in my mind of, of the country and uh, deserve a little bit of uh, increased attention because this is, this is a big issue. Um, uh, when you have arthritis and you can't work and you, you know, you, it takes you two hours to get going in the morning, you know, uh, those are the kind of things that really are, are hurtful. So fortunately for me, the, 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 movie went long so and it's almost seven o'clock um, but I would like to thank everybody for coming this is I hope this is a core group to get this started we keep moving this forward and um, again you know you can go to lots of fundraisers but people on the ground the infantry are the ones who make the difference and it's the programs that make the difference to the patients who are out there the money they say as Bill said earlier to me today they think the money's in the city but the people who need you are in the rural areas and they need access to care and they need access to to keep them going for quality of life so anyway that's all i have to say tonight thanks <laughs>